in one year 26 people got attacked but killed killed that's dreadful that's horrible so i don't understand what it says but i guess it's a warning sign so there will be our official escorts to protect us from the tigers that is crazy guys i was thinking if i see a tiger and the tiger is attacking me you can trust me to break the, the speed limit yeah just so big deer oh my god that was cool did you guys see that look at that guys the town is bustling market is on and uh hello sir people are shouting hello sir this is the hotel I stay, as you can see. A pretty cool hotel. I don't usually stay in fancy places, but uh, this one was the only one that was open the night I arrived. And it's actually decent, uh, decent pricing, I mean. Hello, sir, how are you? So I'm gonna go back to the mechanic where I dropped uh, my motorbike. I uh, asked him to do a couple of things, clean the chain and try to uh, fix for the number plates. Uh, but also, the most importantly, the tires were not properly aligned. The balance wasn't right. So uh, I told them to, to look into that as well. So it's going to be my first experience with the Nepali uh, mechanic, guys. So let's see, uh, let's see how it goes. And tomorrow morning I can start the ride to uh, to Kathmandu. Good morning, sir. Hello, brother. Thanks. How are you? Fine. That's good. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. Hello, boss. How are you? What is your YouTube channel name? Ride with Frenchie. Okay. Yeah. Thank you soon. Take care, bro. Okay. Bye. Take care. There's a lot of plastic here, but yeah, people are really in, um, living in basic conditions. Name? Name? Oh, I told you, ride with Frenchie. Uh, ride with Frenchie? Yes, bro. Ride with Frenchie. Okay. Uh -huh. Ride safe. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you see those camps. People, unfortunately, are, are living in very uh, poor condition here, so no, I, can't, I can't blame them for that, can I? And actually, I think yeah, they are actually recycling it, you see? This is not even wasted, this is being recycled. That's something I saw as well in India. Yeah, you see when I see those kind of places, it just reminds me how lucky, uh, how lucky I am, you know? Crazy, we're just born in very... Uh, we're not given the same uh, chances at birth, clearly. Yeah, might as well live it to the fullest, you know? So yeah, that's it guys, that is the border area. The town is called, I forgot already, let me ask. Hello sir. Hello, sir. What is the city name here? Mahendranagar. Mahendranagar. Ah, Mahendranagar. Mahendranagar. Ah. That's it. Thank you, boss. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Do you like Portugal football, eh? Cristiano Ronaldo? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no. No football. No Cristiano Ronaldo. How are you? <laughs> yeah, good, bro. How are you? Yeah, good. Where you want to go? No, I don't want to go anywhere, bro. I'm here. I'm going to Yamaha. Uh, what are yeah. you doing? Opera. Opera. Yeah. I'm filming you right now. Oh, brother. yeah. <laughs> huh? I like this camera. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you. Where are you from? From France. France. Yeah. You are very handsome, man. Very handsome? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yeah. Huh? So you are a vlogger? Yeah. So you, uh, Thank you get sir. any amount from them? Yeah, yeah, I do. The channel is monetized now, yeah. How many? Yeah. It depends, bro. It depends. It depends, yeah. It depends on the views you get. It is still on. Now? No. Yes, hello, brother. Hello. We can see we can see your face right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. Also. Huh? Capture me also in the camera. So I, uh, <laughs> I'll do subscribe. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. And I will also do subscribe. Thank you. So what, see you, bro. You brother, what's your name? I have? In Yodo. Frenchie. Ride with Frenchie. I'll show you. This one. Ride with Frenchie. Okay, bro. See you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. So yeah, you see we've got the cows, we've got the tuk-tuk as you saw. Nothing uh, much has changed since I crossed the border really. Still a lot of uh, young cows roaming around. Hello darling, oh she's so cute. So now going to Yamaha to pick up the bike. That's where I left it a couple of hours ago. MT15, that's a cool looking bike. Put the, the front, the MT9 front. So I suppose MT15 stands for 150. It's MT15 is a 150cc. 155 cc. 155 cc, yeah. Yeah, I used to have a MT7 back in the days, uh, back in my uh, Australian days. I bought it, it was my first uh, heavy bike, MT07, that was cool. I had a couple of dirt bikes as well, got stolen. 
Well, you need you need to learn how to ride. If you can do it on a dirt bike, trust me. If you know how to ride a dirt bike, you can ride anything. Uh, so yeah, the the workshop is apparently closed. They what time they closed? Six o'clock. Oh, it's more than six. Huh? Oh, it is just over six. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Filming. All good. Oh, where are my gloves? Where are my gloves? Uh, see you, sir. Okay, so guys leaving the uh, the town of the border area behind Daragar. Uh, the border, the border town of Nepal, as you know, I've been here for the past couple of days now. I'm now uh, leaving, heading towards the capital of Nepal, Kathmandu, to get myself uh, a visa because I am pretty much in a uh, illegal situation now in a country that's a bit f***ed up but that's how it is and as you can see for the first time on the channel I am making a video without gloves <laughs> that actually pisses me off a little bit I'm not sure what happened uh, my gloves are just gone missing it's very very strange because I, I always have them on me and whenever I'm not riding obviously I take them off and I always put them in my uh, in my helmet Either I got stolen or I just left them somewhere which is very possible knowing uh, you know my head is always up in the clouds but um, anyway yeah first ride first real ride in Nepal I'm expecting some bad roads from what I heard I have a long way to the capital it's pretty much at the other side of the country I am now as west as it gets and Kathmandu is towards east yeah, it'll be at least a two-day two ride. Let's go, let's ride, guys. Excited to ride in a new country. Although, so far from what I see, apart from the different hats they are wearing, I feel like I'm still on the other side. Oh, now, one more thing. Yeah the, yeah, the currency is different, obviously. You know, people look the same. They, they do understand my shit Hindi, which is a good sign. Look how chill that place is. Like I love this road honestly. It's not it may not be the best quality but it's just surrounded by the forest. Super green. Yeah. I just hope it doesn't start raining because I heard that it's been raining a lot. I think the, the monsoon this season is quite uh, quite bad. And I heard that some roads further further along the way have been destroyed recently so Hopefully it won't be too bad. This is such an enjoyable ride, guys. Uh, looks like someone is riding, is uh, learning how to ride. So I've, I've noticed something, actually, one difference with India is that there is a lot less uh, uh, written English on, like, road signs or on... Uh, well, actually, you have one here, but uh, I think most of the time it's just, uh, yeah, just written in the... Uh, I think it's the same, uh, it's, the, it's the Hindi alphabet, correct me if I'm wrong guys, but uh, it, looks, uh, it looks the same. But like even in like, you know, shops, like restaurants and stuff, mo most things actually are just written in the, in the local language, in the local alphabet, sorry. Okay guys, time to fill up the tank. It's funny because they don't, the fuel stations here are not really uh, signed. You really have to uh, pay attention. Namaste, boy. I don't know what kind of fuel is it. Is it good fuel, eh? Good fuel. Quality. Okay, take it. Full. Full, please. Full tank, please, brother. Thank you. So, uh, one liter is 180 rupees. Which is like, ah, oh yeah, it's more expensive than in, uh, than in India. Because that's, that works out 120 per liter. Yeah, it's quite, it's one, one dollar, if I'm not mistaken, exactly one dollar per litre. So it's still cheaper than in Europe, but yeah, more expensive than the, the big neighbour. Cost me exactly two thousand rupees. What's that? Something like uh, seventeen dollars or something? There you go. Thank you, brother. Banyevad. So the cool thing is that don't, I don't even need the uh, map or to look at a phone or, or anything because uh, there is only one road to Kathmandu and it's pretty much straight all the way. I mean, it's not pretty much straight. It is straight all the way for 700 kilometers. So that's easy. And that's how the road have been, uh, has been so far. Uh, it's okay. It's actually a decent road. The only thing is it's only one way. I mean, only one way, only, only two lanes. 
so sometimes it's a bit annoying when there is a bit of when there is some traffic but uh, it's uh, interesting like you know Ladakh I was in Ladakh uh, last week uh, 10 days ago now and uh, it was so dry I mean I spent quite some time in Ladakh actually as you know and now it's like I moved to another world it's so humid and so sticky like don't even think of shaking my hand because or if you give me a hug you would get stuck to me you know that's that's how sticky I am now with all the uh, the moisture in the air so it's a bit of a change uh, I went from Ladakh which was a uh, 60% humidity to here or it's like 99% or 100% humidity so my body is like what the f are you doing to me mate and there's a lot of cows I mean there was obviously a lot of cows in India but I feel like proportionally there is even more here look at those ladies Wow, she's young. Wow, they are young. Apart from the third one, they were all... The first one was a child. Yeah, it's something I noticed in Asia, not only here. I remember it was the same in Nepal, There is um, in, in Vietnam. M most women are actually working in the field. And men are working in like, you know, other sectors like trade and constructions and all that stuff. But in, in India, women were working in constructions as well, which was very impressive because it's rather physical, especially in the mountains. Wow, what's that? Is that like a wedding or something? Yeah, it looks like a wedding. Yeah, they're all dancing. That's cool. I thought the police were stopping me, but no, they were talking to someone else. There are so many people. Oh, how many weddings? It's different weddings. It has to be, unless it's some kind of. Uh, traditional gathering uh, I don't know what purpose I mean if that's a wedding or the full town was invited <laughs> that was cool very colorful as well yeah you see I I, I got almost uh, scared that the police I mean scared I've got nothing to uh, to hide or <laughs> but uh, 48 hours like two days in Nepal and I got already stopped twice by the police once per day it seems that the police uh, is controlling a lot here as opposed to uh, to India so I made it to another town guys and as you can see it's uh, getting dark slowly but surely um, there is a badass bridge here I don't know if it's the way to Kathmandu Namaste boy Kathmandu this way? Kathmandu this way uh, is the bridge open? doesn't look too open to me hello sir uh, Namaste sir how are you? Uh, is Kathmandu this way? Kathmandu this way and uh, at this time you are uh, not going to um, uh, this way after uh, 6 p.m. Really? Why? This way is a uh, forest uh, naturally park. So Natural park? This, this way is a uh, tiger, leopard, um, uh, crush the bridge. Okay. Near the military, uh, Nepal army. Okay. Uh, and um, oh, where are you going now? Okay, so... Kathmandu? Yeah, Kathmandu. I can go? After 500 meters, so there is the Nepal Army military office. Okay. They can let me go. Okay, and ne next city, next city. Next huh? city Kohalpur. How many oh, kilometers? Yeah, very good. Oh, eight kilometers. Eight kilometers. Eight kilometers. And they have hotel and everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much, Mr. Badu. Next Badu. Thank you so much, sir. What is your name, sir? Pierre. 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 Okay, I will go. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Only a very very nice policeman. He was saying something about a national park, but also an army check. It's a big bridge, eh? Wow, they didn't f around with this one. Oh man, that is beautiful. It's definitely too dark for the GoPro now, which is a shame because this is a beautiful bridge and a massive river. That's the army check post he was talk talking about. Namaste, sir. How are you? Kaise ho? France, France. France. Not allowed. Not going back. I go next next hotel, next city. Not allowed. Can I speak with your boss? Hello, sir. Oh, camera, camera. Yes. This is a, a park, national park. 
And it's dangerous because of a tiger. Wow. Wow. So at night the tiger could attack people? Yes. So, okay, I see. Wow, interesting. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> so, guys, I made it to a small town. Town name kya hai? Chisapali. Chisapali. Okay. Uh, as you saw before, I got stopped by the uh, army. There is a national park and they were telling me... Uh, there is... Which one? Mardia oh, Okay. And apparently they said to me, you know, it's too dangerous right like now. There is like tigers attacking people, especially people on bike. And Ganis has just confirmed that to me. He said to me, just in one year, 26 people. Yeah, one year. In one year, 26 people got attacked but killed. Yeah. Killed. Killed, killed. That's dreadful. That's horrible. It's crazy. And I was insisting to go. Now I'm like, whoa, it's good I, they didn't let me go. Wow. But uh, yeah, anyway, so crazy tigers, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's unreal, guys. I'm shocked. I'm so happy I didn't go. Imagine that. Imagine being eaten up alive by a tiger. That is scary, man. Yeah. Scary, scary. So I'll, I'll spend the night here and tomorrow morning early I'll, I'll carry on. Morning 6 p.m. 6, 6 a.m. Okay, early one. Thank you, brother. So this is it. I'm back to the uh, checkpoint. Yesterday checkpoint. Hello. Namaste. So I don't understand what it says, but I guess it's a warning sign. Okay guys, so you see that check post? You see the boys here? They had been waiting like me for two cars to be escorted by two, uh, two random cars. So now there are two small cars that just uh, turned up. So they will be our official escorts to protect us from the tigers. That is crazy guys. So you see guys, that's pretty much how it is. One car, thank you sir. One car up front, the bikes in between, the bikes behind and another car at the back. And that's what happened with them too, you see? They were between those two big buses. So they had bigger escorts. Yeah, it's insane, man. Imagine you see a tiger just popping out of the jungle. You know, normally it's like a, a movie scenario, but here this is, this is common. 26 people attacked and killed in one year? Are you serious? It's a lot. It's almost one every two, 10 days, 15 days. Yeah, one, it's once every two weeks actually, e exactly. And it's a perfect uh, ambush uh, place for the tiger as well. You know, you can just hide in the, in the high grass. Oh man. So the, the locals were telling me that uh, these uh, accidents were happening mostly at night. That's why they pretty much stop anyone from crossing uh, past 6 p.m. until the sun rises. But they also occur during the day. But during the day, it's obviously different because, I mean, human, human sight is, is obviously much better. So I guess it's easier to, to defend yourself. I mean, I don't know, to be fair, never been attacked by a tiger. I uh, don't really want to try it. Imagine that. Imagine having to fight a tiger with your bare hands. Just have a head or just have a helmet or I can just headbutt it. That's all I can do. That's not gonna do much, is it? Uh, this is it guys. There was no tigers. Thankfully, we made it to the other side of the national park. It took actually a while. It's a big park. Eh? It took us 20 minutes to cross it. All of us. Thank you. I was thinking, you know, like if I had more time, I would have stopped and fly the drone and, you know, if you get lucky, imagine that. Imagine you catch a footage of a drone in its uh, natural habitat. That would be amazing. Anyway, let's get going. Kathmandu, here we come. P I E R R E, Pierre. Yeah, hi. Take care? Yeah, hi. Pierre, Pierre, Pierre. I completely butchered my name before that was hilarious. He wrote something like a uh, Fiat. So are we going together? Okay, so don't go too fast, bro. <laughs> okay, so the um, soldiers were telling me there is a stretch, danger area. Animal crossing, eh? Okay, and I have 22. I still have to respect, to respect the speed limit, which is 40 kilometers per hour. So I have 22 minutes to cross, and on the other side, I would give that ticket to the uh, to the person responsible. So, thank you, sir. Together, take care. 
Yeah, that's what he, he wrote at the beginning. Feel, feel. Uh, guys, you can call me Feel now. What's your name, bro? Ari. Ari. I've seen catch like Ari. Okay, chalo, chalo. Let's go. So Ari will be crossing the tiger tiger zone with me. I didn't know there would be another one. There is a animal animal crossing. Yeah. What animal? Tiger. Elephant. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh, tigers and elephants. You know. Cute, cute pets, right? Cute pets. Uh, what's funny is that, uh, I mean funny. Uh, this one, we don't have an escort. So, what does it mean? Maybe the, the previous area was, uh, was more populated? I don't know. So this area is probably less risky or it's a different wildlife. Let's see if we see something. Yeah, just saw a big deer. Oh my god. Wow, that was cool. Did you guys see that? Wow, that was big. That was so cool. Oh, you see? Oh my god, that was so cool. That was such a big one. I hope I caught it on camera. Oh, now I want to see if I can see something else. Look at that. How pretty. And the good thing is going 40 k's an hour, you actually get to enjoy. You know? Yeah, I was thinking if I see a tiger and the tiger is attacking me, it can trust me to break the, the speed limit. So all good. I gave my, uh, my ticket. But now... I'd love to find a small town with a mechanic because I don't know why guys, my chain is so tight, so tight and it gets tighter like, you know, it's becoming tighter, I don't know why, I don't know what causes that if you guys know, if you have any idea, please let me know, that could help me to fix the issue so yeah, I need, I need a mechanic to, to loosen it up a little bit okay, just took a very short break guys in this uh, small uh, cafe slash daba there's a supermarket next to it so it was very handy they didn't have coffee so i went there bought some coffee and then i got the young uh, the young fella here mr uh, pradip to uh, to boil some water for me very very nice people honestly he was teaching me my first uh, my first nepali uh, words and he got me to install the app i couldn't find a, a good app to learn hindi but I'll go back to India obviously so if you guys know any good good application to learn uh, Hindi let me know but uh, for Nepal now I've got one which is good so I can learn a little bit you know just the basics at least just to say how are you and, and stuff like that but yeah I've got another 13 hours ride to uh, to Kathmandu which is a bit scary because it's already midday definitely won't make it tonight uh, so it'll be tomorrow sometime Never mind. Shalom, shalom. Okay, after a quick lunch break, thank you so much. Uh, very good food, eh? Thank you. Let's go back on the road. Kathmandu, eh? Okay. The lovely, lovely people. Good one. I will need water. It's hot as hell. Okay, so I stopped for lunch guys. Very, very affordable. Uh, well, it was a very small daba. Paid uh, 180, uh, 175 Nepali rupees for a full meal. Like rice, dal, veggies and all. Uh, so that's what, that's one, one dollar something. Actually, it's uh, on par with the uh, pricing, uh, like in India, in, you know, like remote, remote-ish areas. Guys, it's so freaking hot. No wonder they are chilling in the shade. Honestly, like, um, and I, I don't really like it. You see, I'm, my, my jacket is here. Oh, I just can't wear it, guys. I'm, I would be stuck to it forever. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to, uh, to take it off. I'm gonna ride another, I don't know, 50 or 100 kilometers and then I'll stop. I've got some work to do. How green and how pretty. 
and you've got the first hills as well uh, finally it's not that flat anymore oh that's a, that's a big house right here anyway a very green very nice and it actually makes sense the hills are this way because I'm heading straight east so this is north and that's where the uh, Himalaya mountain range is located so that could be probably the first the first hills before uh, before the big the big mountains but yeah like this this is just a just a haven of green really and some small villages every you know so many kilometers okay guys so i made it to this small town not sure what the name is but that's where i'm going to be stopping for the day so i have to find a hotel uh, i can't see any here let me ask someone namaste by uh, hotel Amro hotel where where is it this way hotel this way okay oh yeah i can see it here yeah. okay thank you so much man have a nice day oh wow the hills are getting closer guys so i can see a hotel there there is another one here oh there is one here hotel santosh we can check this one out hotel 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 let's check it out hello namaste hotel hotel okay let's check it out 